once again, it's your boy, General Christ, in the building today with Jess from Morningstar. Alright, underscore films, rolling into this interview. Okay, Jess from Morningstar, where you get the name, where you from, and how long you been doing this rap night, man? Alright, what up, Yeshua Morningstar, shout out to the last word benders, DJ Mitty Boss, Alias. Benders. Yeah, all that. Okay, the name, um, okay, well, Yeshua is an Aramaic name for Jesus, um, so I was on God Complex shit for a while, so I got that half of the name, and then Morningstar is the title, generally attributed to Venus, which is the Morningstar, and also to the Christ Conscious Energy, so I just created the name as kind of a melding of the two concepts. I've been rapping since I was maybe 15. About that time I was writing lyrics back in high school a lot of the time. I don't know, can I actually redo that question? Sorry. Sorry. No, I mean, you can get them people, tell them like, you know, how many years you've been at it or whatever, seriously, or just yeah. as a hobby or okay. whatever. So, I mean, just let them know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like how many years or whatever you've been doing. Probably for the last two years, but I've been writing lyrics since I was about 15. About 15? Yeah, about yeah, so how old are you now? 23, so you know, yeah, maybe so like eight years. about eight years or so. Yeah, eight years or so. Totally. Or so. Yeah. so, how long have you been around these parts? I've been asking. I'm a local. Oh, so you've been here forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we rocking with the locals once again. Asheville NC stand up, no doubt. Okay, rolling on to the next question. Um, how would you say, and I'm asking you this to give me a brief, what would you say you bring to the game of hip hop right now? What do you feel like you bring? Essentially the energy of pure potentiality. I believe that anything is possible. I believe that you can think, become, feel, create anything that you want. And I feel like in the rap game, in like anything, in religion, a lot of things, there's a lot of dogmas that are created as far as you cannot do this, you cannot sound like this. I'm pretty much here to say you can essentially, you know, you can rap about unicorns or laser beams or essentially whatever you want, you know, and you, can, the fuck you, want and to you can still create that. I mean, Little B became famous, I mean, if he can do it, you know. Yeah, he can. just raps about anything. Yeah. He just says as a cat. Exactly. As a cat. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Saying that, that you basically saying, you know, basically it ain't no limits. The sky's the limit. So you saying you totally out of the box, basically. It's, yeah, totally. And I mean, the kind of references I make, um, growing up, my big disparity with rap, you know, like I always, like I told you, I've been writing since I was 15. Um, at that point, about 2005, there wasn't a whole lot of, like there was indie rap, but most of it was like way underground. So my problem has always been, you know, I'm not hood at all. There's like nothing at all gangster about me, you know. So I always felt alienated in that aspect. And I feel like when you're first starting out, people either gravitate toward what they're comfortable with, you know. Okay, so speaking on that, that you are out of the box, basically anything goes, I'm gonna let y'all know what the fuck's going on. And I, and I love that, that you ain't walking around faking like you a gangster and trying to rap on that bullshit that you ain't about. That's, that's, that's real right there. Saying that, you know, cause I mean, like I said, I enjoyed the show. I was part of the show, the show was good. I've, I've met a different crowd. What would you say if you had to put a label on yourself, what would you say your hip hop is? Like, what would you, what, what would be a description of, of your hip hop or what you bring to your type of artist? Let's say winning court. Winning court? Winning court. Just find this shit. Yeah, just, okay, basically just winning, you know? Essentially just straight up winning, you know? And, you know, core as far as part of like hardcore bands or yeah. core bands, it's just winning core. Just pretty much, you know, just whatever the fuck Being I want. Being yourself is a winner. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that right there. Okay, rolling on. What would you say made you want to become a rapper? Like, what inspired you to become a rap artist? Basically. Well, my dad was a rapper. He's a Backwoods Click, Profit a lot. Yeah. Backwoods Click? Yeah. Uh, how long ago was they out? Like, 2002, you know, actual city in the sky, like all that. That's yeah, did they go down to Atlanta yeah. and kind of make. Oh, so you connected. If y'all don't remember, the Backwoods had out some good music. Go ahead and let them know so a little bit more of what inspired you to be an artist other than your pops. That's the first part of it. Secondly, I just love music, you know. Even back when I first started writing, I liked a lot of like metal, punk music. You know, Mama Stuff, Indulgence, Corn, a lot of that, Mushroom Head, and more technique. Just yeah, more technique, you're wrong, I love it. Yeah, just seeing how they're basically just doing what 
I like to do, and they're getting paid a lot for it. But I've never been someone who wanted a normal job. I have no interest in the, you know, 9 to 5, <laughs> oh, 2.5 kids. Yeah. No interest in that Wake whatsoever. Wake up and smoke and do what you want. <laughs> exactly. You know, I want to yeah, I wanna be able to be like, hey, you know what? I'm bored. I want to go to Japan tomorrow. And then to make it happen. Yeah. And Art is freedom, basically. Exactly. Um, and playing on that same question, what was the first song? Whether it be hip hop, well, no matter the genre, what was that first song that inspired you to be an artist? What was that song? Because I know everybody got a song or an album that they heard. They said, I want to be a rap artist, I want to be an artist, I want to make music. Uh, the album Tight by Mama Self Indulgence. Mama Self Indulgence? Damn, where the hell we looked them up at? Man, they're awesome. I've seen them like four times. Are they hip hop? What are they? They're like they're like industrial punk, but they have hip hop influences. So they like rap, they scream, they have a guitarist. So they like hip hip hop, rock, alternative kind of experimental type. Yeah, I believe at one point the term they used to describe themselves was industrial jungle pussy pop, but now they just <laughs> they consider themselves to be like industrial or like disco now. They're really yeah. weird. You can't really define them. I see exactly. What so, uh, just rolling on to my last question. Um, so, what, what you got going on now? You got any albums coming out? You know what I'm saying? You got something out people can check out? Or, you know what I'm saying? You got something for the people that's coming? Let the people know where they can get some music at or what, what's to come from um, just from Morningstar. Alright, I'll we'll let you guys know I'm working on... Right now, I've been focusing a lot on my freestyling. That's something that I'm very into doing. And so, a lot of the stuff I've been doing lately is just practicing straight up. Just working on that. A lot of my shows that are going to be coming up this year, they're going to be maybe 90, 95 percent freestyle. Yeah. And speaking of that, I heard that you killed your last song straight off the top of the head. Yeah. I was just like, Mini was pretty much like, "Hey, man, you still got like three minutes," and I'm like, "All right, this instrumental," and I'm just like, "You bring it back to craft. You bring it back to craft for giving the show." Giving them some music that's been recorded, but giving them something just raw on the spot. Yeah, totally. Like, what I want to start doing is taking songs like Kendrick Lamar, um, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, Tech Nine, things like that, and, you know, basically taking those songs and then just straight freestyling it, keeping the hook, everything like that, and just, yeah. A lot of people do that. It's just, I feel like it's a good way to kind of measure yourself up next to other performers. Before we get up out of here, where can the people find your music at? Right now, I've got a SoundCloud. If you got a SoundCloud, go on, just look up Yeshua Morningstar, the J. I'm sure you'll see it. Yeah, I'll be here. Right. Any shout outs for anybody out there, man? Once again, I want to shout out to Last Word Vendors, DJ Mitty Boss. I want to shout out to Noctuo, Cyrus, and Avid Money Entertainment. <laughs> well, look, Jeff, I appreciate you coming through, man. Man, even though we had to catch you, we've been trying to get up all week long. I appreciate you sharing with the people, man. For real, man. And you're a good artist, man. You're bringing something good to the game. This is the Scope Films. And we out of here, y'all. <laughs>